guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new here, it's your girl Nessa. And on today's video, I am gonna be showing you guys my nightly routine without the kids because the kids are like sleeping. Well, Benny's sleeping. Viviana's laying down for bed and Arlene is about to get in the shower and get ready for bed. So I have like my little nightly routine that I do every single night, even though today is a little bit different because normally you guys, I spend this time editing videos, but guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Your girl got her videos done early today. I actually edited two videos that were done by like nine o'clock, which never happens, you guys. That never happens. So today I got some extra time on my hands. Normally I don't go to bed till like two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. If I'm lucky, I get to bed at like one, one thirty. But like I said, today's a little bit different. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys what I normally do on a daily basis, minus the editing videos, or I should say on a nightly basis, minus editing in the videos you guys again the kids are getting ready for bed let me show you guys what time it is and don't mind the lighting in here like i said everybody's like pretty much sleeping so a lot of the lights are off even though i am using the camera to vlog right now it is 11 42 almost midnight you guys and if you guys hear edward cussing don't mind him he's literally downstairs in his man cave i think he's playing warzone or whatever with his friends so if you guys do hear him cussing in the background do not mind him Anyways, so it's 11.42, almost midnight. I need to clean my house. That's the number one thing that I need to do. Normally, I clean the house and then edit videos, but because I got my videos edited early, I don't have to do that, and I'm so excited for it. So, what I need to do, you guys, let me turn this light on because it is actually pretty dark in here, and it actually takes a couple of minutes for those lights to, like, brighten up. They start off really dim, and then they, like, get lighter over, like... I don't know, maybe like a period of like four minutes. Anyways, so I need to fluff all my couches and I need to fix my pillows. I need to straighten everything up. That's the first thing that I need to do. And then coming out here to the kitchen or the dining room, I need to pick that stuff up. I need to put my uh, laptop away. It's charging since it almost died since I was editing videos earlier. And then my phone's sitting there. I need to get rid of that. Put Edward's coat away. Those are clean dishes. I need to put those dishes away. There's a few like forks and stuff that are dirty that I need to wash up real quick and then I need to make bleach water take my rag wipe off the counters and then of course I wipe off my fridge especially with corona and everything I get all the door handles the door handles from there I need to put all this stuff right here away I don't even know half of the stuff that's up there it looks like it needs to go in the garage these I need to take back to the store that needs to go in the garage that's Edwards this is garbage because it's old and this should already be in the garbage anyways I need to take my bleach rag and wipe all of that down. And then I need to, hey, you hey, scared me. Coming up, I, was, she to? I was like, who the heck? <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I need to straighten up my little counter space there whenever I don't have room. I know you guys seen a lot of this in the vlogs. I need to straighten up the top of my fridge. That's where we put like all of our snacks. We got granola bars, Asian noodles, mama, or not mama noodles. What do you call those? Um, you know, just noodles. I got this is where we put like all of our snacks that we get in bulk you guys we got chips we got jolly ranchers we got big boxes of cereal the kids um lunch boxes are up there anyways i need to straighten all of this out so whenever we don't have room up there i stick like the hot cheeto box the pop tart box the macaroni box all of that goes there i need to straighten all that out tonight you know you know what else i need to straighten out what do you need to straighten out turn around the nalgas hey. <laughs> Anyways, you guys. Yeah, that's what I need to do out here. Oh, did you guys see that the it's brighter now? Remember I told you like it takes like a little bit to brighten up. So there's that. I'm gonna take you guys with me to see what the kids are doing. See if they're sleeping yet. Hello? It's almost midnight. I know. <laughs> are you gonna get in the shower? Yes. Yeah. Can you please? Yeah. Pretty please? And then tomorrow you need to clean your room. Okay. Love you. Love you. Annalia stays in her little zone, you guys. And then, psst, psst. She's sleeping. Benny's been sleeping, but she must have just fell asleep watching ASMRs, you guys. Look at her. She like knocked out to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn her TV down. 
I don't want to turn it off because she uses they use this for like a nightlight or whatever. And then the bathroom, I only have short every day is to clean up the bathroom before she goes to bed. So I'm not gonna worry about this. After she gets out of the shower, she'll straighten up the bathroom and wipe down whatever needs to be wiped down. That's like the only thing I don't have to worry about. And then sometime before I go to bed, I need to mop and sweep the floors and back in that carpet. You guys, funny story. You guys probably seen on the family channel and some of the vlogs are chairs were on top of the table because I didn't have a rug to go on the bottom um, under the table right there. Tell me why when I was at the store, that rug did not look blue. That rug looked the same color as my couch is, which is like a olive green. And now that I got it home, it does not look like an olive green. It looks like a blue. So what I'm doing is nobody wants a blue carpet in their dining room. At least I don't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this funny looking blue carpet for winter because you guys know the dogs are gonna come in with their wet feet and they're gonna lay on it and people are gonna walk through it or whatever throw food on it so I'm gonna keep this really funny looking carpet for the winter and then I'm gonna go get like a, a light tan one and it's gonna look really nice anyways let me get to cleaning you guys I'm gonna set you guys down and we are gonna clean real quick the living room and then I'm gonna take you guys to the kitchen with me I ended up putting my hair up, you guys, because it was just in my way. I actually want to cut it. I want to cut it probably tomorrow or the next day. Or I'm, I'm really not sure, but I'm going to cut it soon. But right now, without the ponytail, my hair goes like right here. And I actually want to cut like maybe like a good 45 inches off. So stay tuned for that video. I don't know if I'm going to do it on this channel or the family channel. But whatever channel it is, stay tuned for it. Again, I forgot to tell you guys to make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys give this video a big fat thumbs up. Anyways, so this is what the couch looks like now. This is what the living room looks like. There was like some stuff behind there. I don't know if you guys seen it or not. There was some stuff behind there. I got that out. I closed the curtains and fluff up the couches. All that good stuff. I was like, what the heck? I thought that was like something. It's the shadow from this. Anyways, so there's that. Now I'm going to clean the kitchen. I already put Edward's coat away. Now I'm gonna pick up the kitchen, pick up that, and then whenever I make my bleach water, that's when I'm gonna wipe down the table. I'm gonna wipe down the entertainment center, and I'm gonna wipe down the inside of that. All right, guys, so do not mind Edward yelling downstairs. I can literally hear him. But anyways, now that I'm done cleaning, I'm like sweating. Now that I'm done cleaning the living room, the dining room, and the kitchen, the bedrooms, I make sure are clean before the kids even go to bed. Let me show you what it looks like after I'm done cleaning. So this is what it looks like before the kids wake up and destroy everything, you guys. And of course, um, I did not dust or anything like that. I'll do all that tomorrow. I don't, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments down below how often do you guys dust because I don't dust often. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I do not dust often. I don't dust every day, that's for sure. Anyway, so this is what the living room looks like. I went ahead, I cleaned the mirror. I wiped that down with bleach water. The floor is somewhat still wet from the Swiffer Sweeper. And then I'm gonna bring you guys over here to the dining room. I went ahead, I did the floors. I wiped off the table, got rid of all the stuff. And then in the kitchen, I cleaned all the counters behind everything. The sink, I went ahead and I cleaned the sink out. The sink is actually so wet a little bit. And then I went ahead and I got rid of the dish sponge that I was using because I try to get a new dish sponge like once every four or five days. I used to never use a dish sponge. I actually read out of a magazine one time that using a dish sponge, pretty much all it does is spread around germs. So like if you cut raw chicken on a cutting board last night and then you use a sponge to wash the cutting board off and then you took that same sponge and washed your dishes with, the salmonella from the raw chicken is now all over your dishes because all it does is spread germs and bacteria. So for a long time I would use 
a rag with bleach and dish soap to wash my dishes but then but then I got tired of buying rags I did that for about a year and a half so now I'm back on sponges and like I said I tried to get a new sponge every four or five days so that way we're not spreading bacteria or whatever the case is so I went ahead and I cleaned behind all of my appliances there which I don't have a lot as you guys can see I first of all do not have a lot of counter space I don't have a lot of cupboard space I went ahead and rearranged everything on top of the fridge made it look nice and then the kids' lunches I just kind of stacked up there so yeah guys that's pretty much everything my, my camera ended up dying but let me tell you guys I am so freaking hot you guys we need like a ceiling fan in here or something because it is super hot in here and even though it's cold outside I would be turning the, the heat on so high because he's like always cold and I have no idea why but anyway, so yeah, my camera died. If this is a different quality, that is why I had to take my battery out and put my battery on the charger. Currently, honestly, I don't even know what time it is. Let me see. I don't even know. Okay, it's 12.40, you guys. That's what time it is. And I'm probably still not gonna get to bed till about 12 o'clock because I wanna edit this video for you guys so I can post this video tomorrow. So if you guys see this video, just know that I did this routine the night before. The night before you guys seen this video. Look at Remy under the table over there. Remy, Remy, what are you doing? What are you doing? You sleeping? You guys, did I tell you guys that I put her bed next to my bed in the room? So now what she does is like she'll be missing like all day long and earlier today everybody was like where's Remy where's Remy where's Remy everybody was like looking for her and they found her in her bed next to my bed in my room so she just like be chilling in my room and stuff she don't even right Remy hey Remy say hi to the vlog say hi to the vlog say hi she has a vet appointment on Tuesday to get her shots and we're gonna brush her teeth because her breast stinks. I don't know if you guys seen the video of her attacking the squirrel on the family channel. I think it's from hunting all the animals because I don't know why she turned into a hunting dog. Let me know if you guys if you guys have a dog and you guys have the same problem. So she is like so nice, you guys. Don't get me wrong, like she'll protect her house at all costs, she'll protect her family. But if you're not a threat to us, she's like so so nice. And for her to be out there hunting animals, like we would have never, ever, ever thought. Like she just is not that type of dog. But for whatever reason, she decided to turn into a hunting dog. She literally like comes back with squirrels, raccoons, possums, bunnies, like whatever she finds in our backyard. So like our backyard is like, we have a private fence. Like the whole thing is fenced in. And she just be like out there patrolling, like letting them know like that's her yard. Nobody can come in it. If you do come in it, you're not going out of it. Like that's just her, right Remy? That's what you do? Huh? Hey. She's tired, you guys. You're tired? You want to go to sleep? Anyways, you guys. So, I've seen on YouTube that a lot of channels are getting taken down. So, like, pretty much, like, banned. Like, they go to, like, they go to sign on their YouTube. And then, like, their channel is gone. Like, it's deleted. So, because of that reason, I'm going to start posting on this channel more often. So, that way, just in case anything happens to the family channel, even though we have 150,000 subscribers there, I've seen a lot of channels getting deleted with like 500,000, 600,000 subscribers. So at this point, I'm kind of like worried, like, ooh, that's scary. So that way, if one of our channels get deleted, we still have another channel. That way, we have like backup channels that we can still communicate with you guys on. We can still post for you guys on. And we can still be there for you guys. And if any of you guys have a channel out there with a bunch of subscribers, make sure you guys are careful because they don't even know. I was watching one channel, they don't even know why it happened to them. And they try to get their channel back, but they said that even if they get their channel back, YouTube's not going to recommend their videos. So it's going to be hard to get subscribers now and it's going to be hard to, you know, it's going to be hard to grow. So with that being said, like I said, I want to try to get everybody on all the channels, including Analia and Viviana's channel. Again, just in case something happens to one of our channels, that way we do have somewhat of a backup. So I wanted to throw that out there to you guys. Also, I'm gonna take some time tonight to look over some comments and answer some of your guys' questions. So if you guys do have any questions, make sure you guys are asking them down below in the comments because I will try to answer them, you guys. With that being said, I am going to end this video here. If you guys have not already, make sure you guys give this video a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and I will see you guys on the next video.